So what is contact and how do I use it in Logic Pro 10? I'm going to dig into it and show you how I use it when I'm producing music. And I'm going to give you an inside look into this super dope cinematic guitar that just sounds oh so amazing. So let's dig into it. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music production, music licensing, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. So let's uh, let's hop into Logic, and I'm going to show you kind of what my contact um, workflow looks like. Honestly, the majority of the stuff that I produce is with some type of instrument inside of contact. If it's not Omnisphere 2, um, then I'm in contact. So I'm going to show you you know what that looks like how to navigate and it's just really dope because it keeps everything in one place and i think just from an organizational standpoint like instead of you know just going through the menu and looking for different plugins like when everything is able to be in contact it just makes everything super easy you open up one plugin and then you can get to whatever you need to get to from there so let's hop over here in the logic and i'll show you guys what's up all right, so we have Logic here. So let's see, I have, uh, let's just start with like a blank one here. So open up contacts, you just wanna go to your plugins here. We'll select contacts since it was frequently or recently used this at the top. We'll select stereo. All right, and here is where all of my contact instruments are. Anytime native instruments they make it pretty seamless. Like anytime you add a new instrument or purchase a new instrument, you go through um, native access and, you know, throw in your codes and all that. And then they go and add these instruments to your contact library. So then once you open up your DAW again, um, everything pulls up and you can see and access everything here from within, you know, one, one single plugin, which is contact, right? So here I have all of my instruments and then I also have, you know, a couple third party instruments that are compatible with contact, which is really, really cool because it gives developers, you know, the opportunity to develop their own instruments and make them compatible. Um, so you can still have everything in one place. So I really, really love that. So here pretty much this is where you select the instruments, right? So we're going to go with uh, the Corderone Guitar Reveries, which is just this insane guitar plugin that I was telling you guys about. I've been playing around with it this week, and I'll let you guys hear like a track that I was cooking up with it. But super dope cinematic guitars for like ambient stuff and just just super, super vibey guitars. So here you have the instruments, right? So these are kind of like your presets. So you can go in and select one. Um, let's see. Let me go up. And then here, you know, you have different categories. Just depends on how each each instrument is kind of different and the options that you can choose so it really depends on uh, you know on each instrument but this one i have guitars pads and keys so i can select you know a certain sound here so let's just go with the let's go with dynasty aka i think it's kind of like a play on dynasty so yeah so here you have the interface this is where you kind of interact with the instrument you can change different parameters and effects and panning and volume and things like that and the dope thing about uh corderon guitar reveries i really love how they kind of made these these parameters like you can adjust them with these like these circle modules pretty much and you just go up and down to change the sound and i'll show you exactly what that sounds like in a, an example track down here but super dope stuff you can pretty much couple two different sounds and or two different effects in a sound and kind of create your own sound you can adjust the pedals releases and then it also has an effects section where you have all different types of filters, saturation. Um, you can change the stereo field, how, how wide you want it, reverb, delay, chorus, amp. So all of these different settings you can go in and change to kind of customize the sound that you want. So really love that flexibility. 
in this plugin, but just some some really cool stuff that you can that you that you can do with this Corderone guitar reveries. And I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Definitely highly recommend it. So yeah, so that's that. Now, one thing I have noticed with me just working inside of Contact is if say for example I I click another preset, right? And then it loads this second instance of the instrument. What it does is it changes the MIDI channel to, you know, MIDI channel two. And I'm sure you can probably get creative and kind of combine a couple things, but the way I use it, I'm usually just doing like one sound or one instrument at a time. So if you ever add, like click another preset and then it adds this, it's not gonna play this sound unless you change that MIDI channel back to one so even if you delete this afterwards i um, don't want to say if you delete that you have to make sure that this port here is changed back to one so you can hear the sound sometimes if it's if it's on two like if it just opens up on two or just another midi channel you won't hear the sound and that's the reason why so kind of a heads up if you do do that don't let it confuse you it's just the midi channel change and you can you, you can change it back without getting super duper technical with it so yeah so that's pretty much it so then you can um here you can kind of manage libraries and launch native access if you need to you know add some libraries or find some libraries and uh different things like that here databases you can add so like the folder where you know all of the the samples for each instrument is usually i don't have to go in here and do too many things native access usually handles uh, most of the stuff unless it's like a third party plugin to where it's not going through native access and it's just you know something that you just kind of have to load on your own usually they have instructions on that but but yeah so here you know if i wanted to add a, a different plugin it's just really easy usually what i do is i'll just copy another track and then that'll copy another instance of contact go over to that track and then you know i'll swap that that instrument out so say if i want low fly glow just double click that and then that's gonna open up. And then from here, this is where you go in and select all of your different presets to create, you know, whatever kind of sound you want. The tone and the volume and panning and things, I really don't mess with. Um, I kind of keep things, you know, where they are on here and I do all of my mixing within Logic. If I wanna pan some stuff, I don't really mess with the, the instrument settings there. But yeah, as you can see, like every plugin just kind of has its own unique set of parameters. Let's see, I know the brass, the brass stuff, usually they have different, um, yeah, here you have effects where you can go in, change reverb, compression and filter, articulations, um, so you can go in and change those. Um, so yeah, some, some really cool stuff. And I just love the way uh, the interfaces look just on, on these individual instruments. Like I feel like, you know, the developers get get really creative and it just looks cool man to have just this library of instruments here on the side that you can select from keeps everything organized and in one place so yeah that's contact that's how i use it in a nutshell so let's let's dig into this quarter wrong guitar reverie so I, so you guys can hear like just how dope they are like so i'm gonna play like one track at a time so you can hear some of the different sounds and textures that it has so smooth check this one out it's like a muted guitar and these were played by like a real guitarist I love how warm the guitars are, how real they sound. And I played all of these on the keys.
curious to see I'm curious to see what the what the keys sound like. So let's pull up um like Alright, so what I'll do, um let me make sure I'm in the right contact. Select that. Okay, cool. So it pulls up here. I'm gonna exit out of this because I'm gonna just open up a keys. And let's see, let's go with um let's go with soft keys A. See what that sounds like. It's, it sounds like soft keys, honestly. Still has that, that guitar feel. You can definitely tell it's, it's a guitar. Let's check out this wide lo-fi MW. What is that about? Wow. And then here with these, these circle knob things, like you can change the sound, filter. So yeah, so that is my contact slash Logic Pro 10 workflow, how I use it um, when I'm creating, and I'm probably using it in the most basic way possible, because um, I'm sure there's some more advanced stuff you can do, but that does the job for me, you know, I, I open up a library, pick the sound that I want, and then I fly with it. So hopefully you thought the video was helpful. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.